Google Lens is one of the coolest ways you can use your phone's camera. Being able to scan and identify objects in real time just feels so futuristic. And believe me, it's not a gimmick by any means. You really need to try it out for yourself. While our Android brethren have it easy and can use it right from within the camera app, we on the iPhone can't. But there are two rather simple methods to use Google Lens on your iPhone and that's exactly what we are going to talk about here today. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from GT and let's get right to it, shall we? On iOS, the Google Lens feature is seamlessly integrated within the Google Photos and Search app. First, let's take a look at how you can access it through Google Photos. To begin with, download the app from the App Store, launch it and sign in with your Google account. The app will now ask you for permissions to access your photo library. Agree to that if you're comfortable and then select the backup settings you want Google to back up your photos to. However, if you don't wish to give the required permissions, I'm afraid it's the end of the line for you. You should skip to other method instead. Now once everything is set up, all your existing photos along with any new images that you capture will show up in the photos library. Now to use Google Lens, open up any photo and tap on the tiny Google Lens icon in the bottom toolbar. Then tap on the area of the image you want to focus on or let Lens take control. As soon as it's done analyzing the image, Lens will bring up relevant information about the object in the photo along with additional options for more information. It also suggests specific actions depending on what's in the frame. You can copy text from the image to the clipboard, save contacts, call a phone number and much more. Next, let's talk about how you can use Google Lens through the Google Search app. You'll obviously start with downloading the app and setting it up. Now, as soon as you're done, you'll notice the Google Lens icon front and center right in the search bar. Tap on the icon and give Lens access to your phone's camera. Once again, the permission is necessary for the feature to work. So if you don't agree, you won't be able to use Google Lens on your phone. It's simple as that. Now, once you accept the permissions, the rest is pretty much the same as the previous method. Just point the camera at any object and it will automatically detect what's in the frame and instantly provide some relevant information. What's great about using Lens through the search app is that it doesn't require you to click a picture or of whatever you wish to scan. The feature works in real time and often delivers better results than it does through the Photos app, at least in my experience. So now that you know two different ways to use Google Lens on your iPhone, which one are you going to try out first? Well, I personally prefer the second method because it doesn't populate my gallery with unnecessary photos. Regardless of which method you use, I'm sure you're going to have fun using Google Lens on your iPhone. And that's it for this video. Let us know how you liked it in the comments below. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you in the next one.